What's going on, guys? I know it's been a while since I made any content at all, but I am back. And I ran a poll in the Facebook group on what my next video should be, and there was three options. And this was the one that won it. I believe it had like 45% of the votes at the time. And it was to rank the top 10 duos in S1. And by duos, I meant like the male, female counterparts. So I didn't really count Tomato Head and Beef Boss. And I didn't count the four Cuddle Team leaders and the three, um, the Raptor, Havoc, and Frost. But I didn't count those just because it would make it too complicated. Because three cards versus two would typically be more valuable and four verse two would be typically more valuable but the list is 10 male female counterpart duos in fortnite series one and just for the sake of the video we're gonna say they're all psa 10 usa print crystal shards and i rank them from 10 to 1 so the very first duo is bright bomber and bright gunner now the reason why they're in the 10th spot is bright bombers there now, Bright, Bright Gunner, I'm not saying he's a bad card, he's cool, he's whatever, but Bright Bomber is definitely carrying that duo right there. She's OG, she iconic in all the advertisements, she's storyline relevant, It's just she's just a huge card, she has decent usage, she could, at the, back in the day, she was kind of sweat skin, and like first skin to be infected by the cube, which was one of the first major storyline things in Fortnite back in Chapter 1, Season 6. So she is huge in game, just all around. And it's like in all the trailers now and every advertisement, she's in it. And she's got a reskin this most recent battle pass. She gets reskins every season. So Bright Bomber is a great card. Bright Gunner, not so much, but he's cool. But Bright Bomber carried this duo to the 10th spot. Now in the 9th spot, we have Raven and Ravage. And now Raven, Raven is similar to Bright Bomber. He's nowhere near as good as Bright Bomber. But I'm ranking the duos and Raven and Ravage are combined better than Bright Bomber and Bright Gunner. Just, I mean, they go together better. They're more iconic together. And Raven, he's in a lot of trailers too. He's OG. He had a POI to him. He's got two or three reskins along the way. And, you know, they look good together. They're two really nice cards. And that's why I have them at the nine spot. Now, in the 8th spot is Rex and Triceratops. This is a very iconic duo right here. And I think Rex and Triceratops, Triceratops is definitely better than Ravage. And I think Rex and Raven, they're pretty equal. I think maybe Rex might get just a slight advantage because he's a Jonesy skin. But Rex and Triceratops are iconic duo together. I mean, both skins back in Chapter 1 are pretty well worn. The dinosaur duo skins are going to always be iconic and always be pretty marketable just because you know a lot of the younger kids will always like the designs on them and they just look cool in general now at the number seven spot i have dead fire and calamity now dead fire and calamity definitely have some sort of storyline there's a bunch of loading screens with them together in them they well dead fire was released in the item shop in season six when calamity was the tier 100 skin in that battle well you unlock your final style like at like tier 100 or something high up like that i forgot but I know she was tier one. You got her style later in the battle pass. But yeah, those are both really good skins in game. They're very, uh, Calamity is iconic for other reasons, as we know. But even past that, she's still pretty well used in game. And people definitely remember her. And Deadfire, his card looks really good. And I think just those two together are a really good duo. Next, for in the number six spot, would be Wildcard and Ace. Now, Wildcard... He's iconic, really good usage on him in game. I'm one of the sweatier male skins in S1, might be the sweatiest male skin in S1. The ace is, she got that reskin, she had some storyline back in chapter four, season one. And then they had the, uh, whatever the event was called, the heist event with wildcard and the ace, which was a very good LTM back in chapter one, season five. And I think people remember that and you know want to collect these cards based off that and you get one, you kind of want the other. And Wildcard definitely has a really nice looking card. And so does the Ace. They're both good cards and they're both iconic in game and they both have storyline. So that's why they made it to the six spot. Next in the five spot, I have Omega and Oblivion. Now similar to Bright Bomber and Bright Gunner, Omega carried this one up there. But Oblivion is a lot better than Bright Gunner. So that's why this made it to five and it wasn't down there in nine or eight. Now Omega, I think people sleep on the fact on how 
people remember Omega in chapter one, season four. It's like if you just like just scrolling through Instagram or TikTok, you see everyone's always talking about you remember getting the lights or trying to get the lights and for the Omega lights, got to get to the tiers to get the Omega lights. That is something that people remember so much from Fortnite. And a lot of people talk about that season four was the best Fortnite season of all time. That's a pretty common take out there. So, and Omega was tier 100 that season and is was the best skin in that battle pass. People will remember Omega forever. I think he's super iconic. And Oblivion, she, um, she was released in chapter one, season four, and she ended up getting a gold edit style a few seasons later. And that definitely helped her uses a little bit for a little bit. And people started to purchase her. I believe this is in chapter two, season four. She got the gold variant. So that's why that duo made it to the five spot. Now, next is Ragnarok and Valkyrie. Now, that this duo is incredible. Both with that blue card together. Like, if you had those two cards side by side, they might be unmatched just based off eye appeal to have those two side by side on display. Now, Ragnarok was obviously a tier 100 skin in Chapter 1, Season 5, and Valkyrie was released in the item shop that season as the male, as the female counterpart, counterpart to him. And Valkyrie, she had decent usage back in the day, and Ragnarok had really good usage back in the day, being a tier 100 Battle Pass skin. And he also got that recent reskin with him and Omega together in the Fortnite OG season, and that skin was used like crazy back then. Well, back then, that was like eight months ago, but then it was used heavily and you still see it a decent amount to this day and if we there will probably never be panini cards again so say you were a really big fan of omega rock which was the name of the skin them two combined and you want you're either going to go to omega or ragnarok and it's mainly ragnarok on the skin so i feel like that definitely helped out ragnarok and then like i said valkyrie was kind of a sweat skin ish back in the day well that was like when it was called try hard but both really good skins. And like I said, I appeal wise side by side, I think they might be unmatched. Next, it would be in the three spot. I have, holy shit, I, I can't even read my handwriting. It's um, Blue Squire and Royal Knight. Now, those two together are, it's a really cool duo. Just And now this one didn't make it up there because I appeal, it's in-game statistics. They're both Super OG, Chapter 1, Season 2, Battle Pass, Royal Knight is super heavily worn people love that skin that's an iconic skin blue squire is he's also pretty iconic people really like him as well he was a, a few tiers ahead of royal knight in that battle pass and i think those two are just great cards in general so that's why that put them up at the three spot just because it's two really good cards together now in the two spot it's skull trooper and skull ranger now i think one and two are just now they're not close but they're just really great duos but for number two like i said the skull trooper and skull ranger now skull trooper super iconic skin people remember him like crazy it's i it's almost self-explanatory why this one made it to the two spot and then if you look at skull ranger she gets good usage both these skins got gold edit styles that really help bump up the usage they come back to the item shop frequently during the Halloween season, and they're bought every season, Halloween season, and they're worn every Halloween season. So people really like these skins. They're really iconic skins. Skull Trooper is very iconic, way more iconic than Skull Ranger. But one thing Skull Ranger does have going for against Skull Trooper is you could argue that mint green on Skull Ranger is a better looking card than the blue on Skull Trooper. Now for the number one duo, I feel like this could have been anticipated by most of you. It is Black Knight and Red Knight. Black Knight obviously being the most expensive Fortnite card out there, and Red Knight being definitely an expensive Fortnite card. And plus, I mean, it's the red on Red Knight and the blue background on Black Knight would go really good next to each other. And I feel like they'd, you know, just complement each other really well, displayed next to each other. And they're both, Black Knight is the most iconic Peony Crystal Shard that we have. That's a skin. I mean, because we don't have a Renegade Raider, but Black Knight is just so iconic, so memorable for everybody. The first Tier 100 skin, the first hot max tier Battle Pass skin, which was 70 back then, but it was technically a Tier 100 skin. Red Knight was released in the item shop, was more sweaty. Both their back blings are super iconic. The Red Knight Shield, Black Knight Shield. I mean, this duo is undoubtedly the best duo in all of Fortnite cards, and I feel like it'll never be beat. 
unless you want to count the Renegade prototype and the Aerial Assault Trooper prototype. That's the number one duo in all the format cards. What I was looking at released cards for this list. Now, that is the top 10 male-female counterpart duos in Series 1 for format cards. If you enjoyed the video, you can like and subscribe. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'm going to try to get on the, the content grind and be more consistent. I know I promised that multiple times, and I haven't been. I'm sorry about that, uh, but I'm going to, um, this time, I'm going to get at least one video out a week. I, I know that's not very good compared to what I promised earlier, but I'm just going to try it. So, like I said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for another video.